You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my reaction to The Crowded Room, episode 7. Now, before we get into this reaction, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. So we are back for another reaction, and guess what? Oh, my pupils are back as well. <laughs> yes, we are back to normal face, normal hair, really, hat, for a new episode of The Crowded Room. So episode six really focused on Raya, the Amanda Seyfried character, giving us some more backstory to her, and going over a lot of what we've went over this season, making revelations to things we kind of already knew, but I guess the characters are playing catch up to the audience at this point. <laughs> but I have to say, Tom Holland was absolutely fantastic in last episode. He wasn't in the episode all that much, to be honest, but wow, did he make the most of that screen time he did have. Now, as we move into episode seven, I really hope that we're pushing forward to the finale, that the kind of flashback storytelling device is minimally used rather than being the heavy force that it has been, particularly in these last two episodes. That's not to say I thought the last two episodes were bad per se, but I am excited to see where we go from here. Where do we go when Danny realizes what is actually happening and when he has to confront that with Raya's story as she moves forward trying to help him and how this plays out are we going to get like a courtroom drama to conclude all of this as we bring the diagnosis forward I don't know but I'm excited to see so let's go ahead and cut this chit chat and jump into episode 7 of The Crowded Room is this Episode titled, The Crowded Room? <laughs> Is it Spider-Man? The birth of our friendly neighborhood superhero right here? Everyone is looking up. And of course I would say Superman, but Tom Holland is here, so. They're all just looking at an eclipse. Is that what that was? Okay. I hope that has some uh, significance, even just <laughs> metaphorically, thematically. Hi, good morning, Danny. How come? You ever tried sleeping in a prison? <clears throat> Not her laughing in his face. Did you see the eclipse? You seem a little nervous. Uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe I am a little... Why is that? Is that why you're clumsy? Did you know that Jack came to see me? No, that's not possible. He's in London. Are these Jacks? No, but I tore it up. Wait, did the police put it back together? How, how did you get these? Annie, mm -hmm. your mind is extraordinarily good at rationalizing. Do you trust me? What do you mean? It's a simple question. No, it's not. Okay, fair. Huh? Here we go. You notice that I... Today's the day. Okay, we are pushing it's forward. There are some things that happened at Rockefeller Center that we haven't talked about yet. And I'm worried that when we do, they will upset you. Mm -hmm. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Ooh, we're gonna get to see what was on that on tape. tape. Typically, I wouldn't do this so soon. I don't know what this is. I would like to be done. With I'm sorry. No, we don't Danny. Have more time in. Originals and evidence. You've done something to the tape. Oh. There was no there we one go. At Rockefeller Center except you. Just you. At least physically. You were the shooter, Danny. It was always you. 
Oh. This seems like a little bit of an aggressive way to come at this. <laughs> I think. Sleep. Big mistake, lady. Ooh. Yeah, that seemed uh, quite aggressive. In my personal, not professional, no medical experience opinion. Just working about all that time to build trust, I understand. But I feel like we could have come at that, as I said. It was just you physically. Not just like harboring. It was you. You're the shooter. Just you, Danny. Uh, personally, I feel like that put somebody kind of in defense mode <laughs> when you come at them like that. But we'll see. I mean, well, clearly it did. He brought out Yitzhak. So here we go. About to get aggressive. <laughs> the firefly field. Oh. Okay, so we triggered it all the way to this point. I feel like he is a little bit shook to be back at this defensive location. Oh. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, what is this? Oh. This is that, like, flooded Britney Spears me against the music video set. <laughs> this is where they all sleep like when I can handle shit and she's gonna call the guards so it is both of the friends wouldn't mind you're not supposed to be here man oh Danny oh I'm afraid he's right my boy you you Ariana <laughs> oh no what the himself? fuck is that? How is that even possible? What? You piss me off. You hear me? Oh. Zach, what are you doing? You tell Danny lies. You've got to let me get in there. If he hurts anyone, oh we're going to go silent. He told you where this was going to go when you started dealing. Stop. Uh. Stop, stop. You'll make it worse. Think of Danny. I'm trying to help him. Mm, nice mm. and easy, kid. I know you are. Turn around. No, I'm sorry. Back. Oh. We're not letting him talk to the doctor lady anymore. I think we're just seeing compelling evidence that that relationship is. Uh, oh my productive. gosh! No, 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 no! Hold on. He's becoming dangerous. Oh. That seems not very much likely to me, Jack. Is that right? You're an expert, though, right? In danger. Yeah. Okay. You're the only one keeping Danny alive. As I said, mm -hmm. we need a plan. Oh. Uh oh, what is this boy gonna do? Hey, you know anywhere I can score some blow? Keep your fucking hands down. Oh. Piece of shit. <laughs> I got in your order. Oh? Oh no, here we go. What you asking for? What is that? Is that cassette tape? Not the exact ones, we were pretty oh. close, right? The pay up asshole. For some fucking crayons, are you nuts, dude? Come on, look, I need some coke. Help me out here, please. You playing me? Oh. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna get into some big trouble. This boy running around here playing games. What's up? Oh. Uh, okay, well. What are we doing here? Um, trying to strain a muscle. Over here looking like olive oil, trying to pick that up. Okay, uh, sir. Fuck off. 
Oh, whoa, what's your problem, dude? You're my problem, bitch. Hey! Oh! This little prick just welched on my cellar. That is what we would call a misunderstanding. Oh. Oh. Come on. I was gonna pay. It's just... Oh, shit. Well, we have to get his ass killed. Dumbass. I destroy you, motherfucker. Oh, shit! Child, you you see how he went from olive oil to Popeye like this? Honor raises edge here. Get that, put that down. Drop it now. It's hot. I've got this old boy. Please allow me to explain. Well, good going, Johnny. Yeah, not looking great. Better go talk to Raya. <laughs> you better help her with that diagnosis. It's not an attitude, it's realism. They have to accept the diagnosis. Is that lawyer Christopher to Abbott? He needs to be in a hospital. They have to see that. They How did I not recognize anything. that the first time? Because I had white this eyes be in? A big deal for your career and all. Right? I'm trying to help him out, Sam. You and I both know what you got riding on this, right? Oh, it is! Hi, case, Christopher. You think they care about him being sick? They're like you and me. They care about themselves and their careers. Okay, and sir. Giant ball, like they'll be facing when they're... Because a long shot is still a shot. And I fucking hate going to court. Anything else come up in your little chats I should know about? Why did you show him? Oops. I wasn't going to let him hear about his diagnosis for the first time in a proceeding. The yeah, but you handled it pretty terribly. He could have gone I'm going to be honest. He was an inch away from assaulting me, Stan. And he likes me. Could so he, know, he knows now that he's more than one person? Not really, because she, she didn't oh, come on. I'd like to get that far. By introducing... Have you assessed the defendant in relation to the defense's purported diagnosis? No. Well, Your Honor, after reading Dr. Goodwin's report, I didn't need to. Okay, another I man condescending down, I see. someone with a condition that doesn't exist. You can't keep your opinion to yourself until the appropriate time. You may be asked to leave, Doctor. Go on. Okay, I see how we're doing today. I see how we're doing. Can't stand trial for a violent crime due to a disorder that the vast majority of the medical profession doesn't even acknowledge is real. Sorry, but that's my professional opinion. Thank you. Doctor. Well, your professional Let's opinion is trash. Well, your Honor, we'd like to talk about some of our findings. Here we go. Take a seat, please. <laughs> no. <You okay? laughs> On your face. And please proceed, Counsel. Hi, Danny. It is Danny, isn't it? <laughs> no commentary, please. Yeah. Shut up. Yes, sir. It's Danny. Look, oh, I just got okay, a little bit of a British accent. He's daughter. trying to hide okay. it. Can you tell us who you were with in Rockefeller Center? People on the sidewalk, coming in and out of shops. Right, but who, but who was with you, Danny? <sighs> I'm sorry, oh I don't my. really understand the question. It's not Danny. Quiet, please. All right. In your sessions with Dr. Goodwin? This is not Danny. Your Honor, this is Jack. This is one of Danny's alter egos. I said quiet. One more word and I will have you removed from this room. Now sit down, doctor, please. Thanks, Jack. You You're gonna get y'all's asses thrown in jail for the rest. No. I mean, what can you ask him? Could you wait outside, please? He'd rather be in jail than be gone, so. Thank you. Don't piss me off anymore. And when you talk, it pisses me off. Okay. He's got a disease, Patty. Don't you see that? So he gets a pass? Well, I think going to a mental hospital should suffice. Rikers is filled with young black and brown men who did far less. Where was their pass? Where was their well. plea bargain when they needed a break? Your client <sighs> should get the benefit of the doubt because he has the privilege of a justice system that was built for people who look like him. Okay, Patty's spitting. for me. So no. 
Look, I'm on Danny's side, but Patty spoke real, even in today's prisons. All these years later, and we still are He's dealing with the same shit. Do you know what a federal prison is like? They're gonna eat you alive in there. I hope this little ruse was worth it to you, Jack. Oh! Oh, she said, let me read Jack to filth. We stand trial. Take our punishment like a man. We do what we always do. Oh, we survive. my gosh. You can't handle the whole trial, man. Maybe we have the problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe the boy needs to stand on his own two feet. What the fuck are you saying, man? you die for them. Oh. Or kill we for them. Can do just like this? Well... Now he really won't survive prison. Probably gonna get killed. And y'all will be miserable, so... Yeah. It's Ariana, who is this? Oh, hey Ariana. Hi, Danny. You're back. I'm so worried about you. You're the most important person in my life, do you know that? You're freaking me out. Because I am you, Danny. Oh. For all you. She decided to do it herself? Or they all decided? We're only here to help you. That's what we do. Hmm. I come here to take your loneliness. Mm -hmm. Oh, They're Jesus. Tricky. They're all you. Oof. You suck. Jack mostly stays behind the scenes, but if things start to get you out of control, he sorts us out. What happened before? It shouldn't. That woman. She wants to take us away from you. She wants to destroy us. Oh, my. She believes that we are a sickness. I'm afraid that if we all die, you die too. No. What do you want me to Lord. do? You need to get rid of her. But you cannot, and you will not plead insanity. But then I'll go to jail. May not be a significant sentence, and no one was badly hurt after all, were they? I really need your help. Uh, honey. Okay, well. We all do. Hey. Considering all I've been trying to do is help you, I know oh. that you can hear me in there, Danny. You clearly want to go to prison, or you wouldn't have put on that fantastic fucking performance yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. Be my guest. Oh, she's pissed. I put my entire fucking career on the line for this bullshit. I don't know why the fuck I came. Please. Ooh. There are footsteps in my head. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, that was episode number seven of The Crowded Room. Major pickup from the last episode. I mean, we just skyrocketed to the top once again. I just need to highlight how fantastic Tom Holland's performance is in this show. He is so good, so convincing kind of across the board. But man, when he gets to be Danny and be vulnerable, he is amazing. <laughs> Amanda Seyfried got to shine a lot in this episode as well. Now, I don't want to speak too much on the depiction of altars because I'm more curious to see how other people are going to interpret that 
uh, with the literal and visual representation of such. I have seen the depiction of like who's taking the light or coming to the light taking over. And that's clearly kind of what's being done here. Again, I am no medical professional. I'm not going to pretend to speak on an issue that I have no type of authority in. I'm here to react and talk about a show itself. And this episode was much stronger for me. It moved our story forward in a very significant way. It did find a way to tell this section of the story in an interesting way. And once more, I'm very happy that Apple TV Plus continues to put those kind of disclaimers and resources here in case you're struggling with anything. If any of us are struggling with anything and this type of material obviously can be a huge trigger. It can be something that really affects people. So wow, what an episode. And hi, Christopher Abbott. Sorry, I didn't recognize you with my white eyes on. <laughs> but this is what I was hoping for in episode seven is to stop the backpedal to let the type of flashback narrative mostly take a backseat at least so we can move forward and push forward. Obviously, we're going to get a trial, hopefully some sort of breakthrough with Danny in a significant way and with Riot. Now I feel it. Now I feel like, okay, we have enough to really deal with the amount of time we have left. And it makes me really anticipate the final episodes of this limited series i really enjoyed that episode so just it struck that balance of intriguing and investing as a show but also hard hitting for what it is what it's depicting anyway that is my reaction to episode seven of the crowded room i hope you all enjoy it if you did go ahead Click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos, including all of my remaining reactions for The Crowded Room. Also, make sure to join in on the discussion. What did you think of Episode 7? Let me know all of your thoughts either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.